What's goody? What's goody? What's goody? Gang, gang, how's my soul tribe doing? Hope you guys are having a marvelous day, night, noon, wherever you guys are in the world, man. It's Friday today. Hope you guys, man, hope you guys take it easy. You know what I'm saying? I hope you guys are protecting the peace. Hold on, guys. Let me fix this thing. It doesn't look, it looks kind of cricket to me. Shit, see, keep look, motherfucker. Oh, well, shit. It is what the fuck it is. Let me cleanse it on up, cleanse it on up, guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. I love you guys. Welcome to those dreams for the first time. Welcome back to my gang gang soul tribe, guys. How y'all feeling out there? How y'all feeling? Where y'all at in the world, man? Is it still warm where y'all at? I know here it's still warm where I am. Let's see what I want to do today for you guys. Um, I know earlier, like I said, motherfuckers try to get information. They try to one-up you. They try to rob a motherfucker. This Y'all, I really do not like the way this thing is fucking cricket. Like, it keep fucking falling the fuck down. Like, I swear this shit look cricket than a motherfucker. Why? Hold on, guys. I gotta fix this. She getting on the damn nerves now. Be licking all cricket and shit on the damn uh, thing. <clears throat> Either way it go, shit, fuck it. I ain't gonna keep worrying about it. So we got quickie on my Ty Dollars. Damn. I used to say that word back in the damn day. Somebody thinking about getting a quickie. Um, a quickie can mean any damn thing, y'all. We're gonna talk nasty or whatever, whatever. Y'all know we're gonna get our manifestation cards out, see what's going on. Ancestors, spirit guys, angels, and archangels, you are welcome into this reading. Divine of the highest light, light. I ask that you please come in and protect me and my family, my home. I don't want to channel all these energies. Archangel Michael, please do come in. Make sure we have your protection around me, my family, my home, as well as my beautiful collective, keeping us all away from danger, evil, and harm. Always give us a clear sign, clear message, warnings, whatever it is that you need to give us to awaken us to get our attention, please. Archangel Raphael, please do come through and heal those that need to be healed, please. And I do thank you. I share, share, share. All right, guys. Yeah, I went through that quick as hell, right? <laughs> okay, guys. These are general readings. These are not personal readings. These are not personal readings. I'm going to say it again. These are not personal readings. Do not make it your own damn store. It's just pure. Take what's yours and leave the damn rest. Mm-hmm. Okay, then it come out right. Let's see what we got, guys. See, damn, I see a fucking big ass. The fuck is that? Big ass orb. Akashic <sighs> lineage of God. You guys have the Akashic lineage of God in you. You guys know that if you don't, shit, maybe somebody ain't doing it right. Remember to keep your um your chakras balanced. And since you guys right now, it's all about you guys staying grounded. Whatever you do, I don't care what's going on around you, what the fuck you see. Stay grounded. Okay? My son is telling somebody to shut up. So somebody telling somebody to shut up at this time. Somebody getting on somebody's fucking nerves. For real, for real. Anyway, peace with my situation. You guys have made peace with your situation, which is good. Trust in your intuition always, guys. Use your own discernment. Okay? Use your discernment, trust your intuition. Always do that, guys. Always, always, always. Let's see what the energies are like around you. Lord, my grandbaby, she done mixed up all my damn cards. What in the world? Lord have mercy. Oh, child. She be swapping down. She doing a damn reading. I swear she do. I have to make sure I cleanse her and the damn cards. <laughs> For real. Okay, guys, peace, using your imagination. Peace, peace, peace. Somebody also is damn wanting peace because of the motherfucking shit that they damn manifested in their lives. Be careful what you guys are thinking around this time, guys, because it is manifestation time for you guys, so be mindful what you are thinking about, okay? Be mindful, yeah. 
Dag on discipline. Discipline. People are getting themselves together. You know, imagination. Whatever they created in their motherfucking mind. You know what I'm saying? That's why they getting fucked up. Always, guys, be thankful. Always be thankful. Somebody's also manifesting you back. Trying to manifest you back. I always have the attitude of gratitude, guys. Make sure you have the attitude of gratitude. Let's see what's going on today. What's going on in the ethos spirit? What is the energy like around my collective at this time? The Akasha lineage of God. We got that um, message yesterday, guys. It said my Akashic, my Akashic lineage is God. I see my divinity within me as well as others. And I know that all is well. You're damn right all is well. And you better believe it. You better believe it all. Um, so some people going through grief around you guys at this present time and moment. You guys continue to provide that service. Okay? Whatever it is that you do, continue. Some of you guys have your own platforms. Whatever it is, it's going to be spiritual. I already know. But those guys of you that got platforms, continue to provide that service. Continue to provide that service because there's a lot of people around this time that are grieving. That a lot of people are going through heavy fucking grief. A lot of people have understood they have lost you in their life. And it is what it is. Now they are starting to appreciate you guys. So a lot of people are starting to feel you guys' as life. Um, damn, I said starting to feel you guys' as life. Damn. Damn. Well, yeah, somebody, they start, they are starting to see your life manifest right in front of their face because you guys have the lineage of God in you. They see your motherfucking life and they see your fucking worth. I keep saying life. I want to say light, but they are seeing your life. And a lot of people are in grief because they are the ones that told you you won't go amount to shit. You get what I'm saying? That service you providing, it ain't going no motherfucking way. Daughter this, daughter that. Man, fuck them damn naysayers. That's why they in grief now. Because y'all done cut all those people, places, and things out. That was not of your highest good. If you haven't, that's on you. But I'm talking to the people that has already done so. That has already cut out people, places, and things that was not for their highest good. People who doubted them. People who hated on them. People who hated on... This one turn over. People that hated on your life. Hated on you. Hated on your fucking ideas. But now... Damn. Hold on, guys. That shit went flying across the damn room. Yeah, fear. Damn, no one did slid. There's a lot of people in fear, guys. There's a lot of people in grief. So we got a lot of... People in grief right now, and there's a lot of people in motherfucking fear. So y'all got grief and fear around you guys at this present time and moment. People are needing you. No, y'all leaving these motherfuckers to fend for them damn selves. Or mm, a lot of people are scared now that they don't have your light in their life. This is what I see. It's a lot of people that is motherfucking, they scared to death, bro. No, do I need to get any more? Do I need to get any more? Denial. All them people that denies you. All those people that denies you. Now is your turn to, to to deny their asses. And they know they are denied. That's why they in grief and they in fear. You guys probably used to help these people out all the daggone time. You that's why that service card was at the bottom. You guys always help these people out. You provide a service to these people. But when they turn on you, deny you, deny your gifts, deny your life and your light, and deny who the fuck you were, guess what? Deny it for them now. It doesn't matter who it is. Deny it. They're in grief and fear. You are still mine. It's on, guys. You are still mine. Whatever. So we got grief and fear right here. Grief and fear, spirit. What is this? Grief and fear. Grief and fear. Let's see what we got going on. Grief and fear. Somebody is in a lot of grief and a lot of fear at this present time and moments. Oh, well. I realize that I am tested to resolve to live in the energy of love. 
See, that's what you guys was giving them. You guys was giving them love. When they was damn giving you fucking bullshit. There's a lot of projections going on as well. I still feel that. See, this is the thing. People, they're on, people can only love you as far as they love themselves. That's number one. You know what I'm saying? If they don't think highly of themselves, they're going to try to betray and, and put that shit onto you. You get what I'm saying? And now people are damn and, and damn deep and regret. They are grieving and they're scared because they don't have your fucking light. They don't have your energy. You see what I'm saying? They was that going they was that gonna benefit off of you being in their life. They was manifesting with your sacred chakra. They was manifesting. You know what I'm saying? With your motherfucking sacral, as well as your damn solar plexus. And now that they don't have your motherfucking energy, huh, ain't shit, ain't shit. All the people that denied you, oh well. So you guys got a lot of fear and a lot of grieving people around you. That's why I said don't let nobody disturb your fucking peace. They need you now. They need you now. You get what I'm saying? But y'all are gone. These are people that denied you in the beginning. Deny you just as a whole. Oh, well. Spirit, what is this grief? What is this grief? What is this grief, Spirit? What is this grief, please? And thank you. Grief, grief, grief. Why is this grief here? Let's see what's going on. Hey, man. Somebody's stuck. Somebody is stuck. We have secrets here as well. This is also fear. Somebody is scared. Somebody's scared. Somebody's stuck. But y'all know in hangman position, um, these are people that are getting enlightened. There's a lot of people that are motherfucking stuck and they don't know what the fuck to do. Because like I said, they don't they no longer have you in their life to bail them out, to help them solve their problems. You see what I'm saying? So these motherfuckers are scared now. They're scared as hell. Motherfuckers is stuck because you know they motherfucking secrets. Motherfuckers is fearing you because they know you are very intuitive. It's, they know you are very intuitive. They know you're very intuitive. Now they know. Nines is all about releasing. We got the number three, mind, body, and spirit. Somebody gonna get their self together, but they gotta get their own self down. That's just what it is. And somebody is scared as hell. They went somewhere where they weren't supposed to go. They did something they weren't supposed to do. And that motherfucking moon right there, this moon is about to blow. And y'all see the sun. So there's definitely going to be some exposure. Definitely some exposure. Of motherfuckers, all these people that didn't tell the truth. Mm -hmm, somebody's scared. They don't have the truth and clarity. They don't have your motherfucking... They don't have no protection. These people are, are liars. Somebody's been lying. Somebody's stuck like a motherfucker. They're scared, like I said, because you know their secrets. Mm-hmm. And they know you know they've been lying. That's why they're fucking scared. And fucking fear. Also, yeah. Somebody, there's, there's a lot of lies. A lot of gossip. Motherfucking somebody trying to figure out how to one-up you. I told you that. Trying to figure out how to defeat you. That's what I see. Somebody also know they made an unwise motherfucking choice when they fucking lied to you. And this could be family members, friends, um, daggone lovers, ex-lovers. Well, some of you guys may still be dating people, you know what I'm saying? But somebody is spying. Somebody made an unwise choice when they lied to you. And now they are regretting every bit of it. They even, the people that said you wasn't telling the truth, now they see your fucking life. You see what I'm saying? They see your fucking life. All these secrets, all these lies have come, they came out, guys. They done came out. That's just what it is. And people are seeing these people, they weren't telling the truth. So it's a lot of people, all these people that didn't tell the truth when it came to you, they are fighting. It's a lot of envies, hate, and jealousy going on. Motherfuckers is very jealous and envious of you. But just know y'all done defeated they ass. 
And that's that's the problem. They may, they know they made an unwise fucking choice coming up against you and lying on you. And lying to you. Lying on you, lying to you. And all they can do is damn sit and watch and spy on you. Yeah, they know they made an unwise choice. They know they made the damn unwise choice. Hey, man, spirit, what else? Yeah, motherfucker, no, they lied. They lied. They was jealous and fucking envious of you. That's all it boils down to, guys. People was jealous as hell of you. Look at them grieving now. They spying. Saying you guys getting all this fucking attention and shit. You see what I'm saying? You guys are getting all this public recognition, victory, and fucking rewards. And they are in deep regret. This is fucking success. Success. And people are motherfucking and they they all they can do is spy. These envious, jealous, hating ass motherfucking people that thought they was doing shit behind your motherfucking back and shit. Whatever. And secrets don't came the fuck out, you can believe that. And the secrets was they won't tell them the motherfucking truth. It was just they was envious and jealous of you. I'm telling you, somebody has found out. Somebody done lied on y'all, right? I said, plain as day, somebody done lied on y'all. I'm talking about lied miserably. Now this person is motherfucking stuck. Because they lied. All it boils down to is this person was a major liar, and this person was damn just envious and jealous of you guys. That's it. Your brother in there. And they are in deep fucking regret, y'all. Y'all see them damn kids. Y'all, excuse me, loud music. My damn son-in-law. That damn system he got. Son banging at the door like, let me in. Uh, and your brother in there. I'm not going to race shit because everything that happens during the video is for a fucking reason. For real, for real. This came out in the reverse, y'all. See, you guys are no longer stressed about the situation. Y'all ain't stressed. They stress the fuck out, but y'all ain't. These people are not fucking sleeping. Now that y'all know they fucking secrets, now that the secret is out. But y'all, y'all ain't stressing over this motherfucking bullshit. That's this damn Ace of Swords in reverse. Ace of Swords in reverse. Yeah. Ace of Swords in reverse. Y'all hear the kids. And the grandkids, they are back. Yeah, these third parties. These third parties, they want to tell them the truth. This person understand that if somebody is finding out that a third party told a fucking lie. It was a lot of fucking secrets. A lot of secrets. <laughs> Ooh, this third party was jealous as fuck of you. I'm talking about jealous as hell. What's this five of swords? What this five of swords? Five of Swords, Five of Swords. Just down trying to one up you jealous ass motherfuckers. Yeah. Five of Swords, y'all, is the chick. God damn. The Ten of Swords and the Ten of Wands. These motherfuckers, when they chose to go up against you to deceive you, mm, 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 mm. guess what? They got deceived. They got damn deceived. That's what the fuck happened to these motherfuckers that was trying to one up you. See, these motherfuckers thought they was going to be able to stab you in the back and shit so that you would be heavy burdened. No, no. There's a major fucking ending. There's a major fucking ending. All it did was, y'all already knew. Y'all went to it. Y'all knew these people were fucking lying. You know what I'm saying? Y'all knew it. Somebody else probably didn't know, but they found out that this person, these third parties, was just fucking lying. Y'all ain't worried about the motherfucking bullshit. Y'all not losing. Y'all not losing not now. Motherfucking sleep. But these people are in deep regret and they in motherfucking fear. Fear for their motherfucking lives. That is, who is this spying? Who is this spying spirit? Who is this spying on my collector? Who is this spying? Yeah, they just knew they was going down. Motherfucking kill you. A heavy burden on their ass. The King of Wands. King of Wands is fucking spying on you guys. There's King of Wands spying on you guys. Mm-hmm. For what reason? I don't fucking know. 
I do not fucking know. I tell you what, whoever stuck. <laughs> Ooh. Whoever thought they had you stuck and shit and had all these motherfucking secrets that won't tell the truth, that was jealous and envious of you, that was trying to one up you, all the motherfuckers are spying on your ass. It ain't just this king of wands. It's a feminine energy, I feel, staring on you guys too. All these motherfucking third parties. These motherfucking third parties that was envious and jealous of you. His personnel is. Spine, they realized that, damn, this motherfucker was jealous of them the whole time. Ultimate motherfucking defeat, ultimate betrayal. It is what it is. All these people that try to one up you, when I tell you, these motherfuckers, it's, it's over, and they know it's done, and it's a heavy burden on their ass. It ain't no coming back. That's what's said. All these people that motherfucking denies you and shit, they in fucking fear now. They in fear. They scared. They don't know what the fuck to do. They do not know what to do. Oh, well. Y'all ain't losing no sleep over these motherfuckers. She can spirit. Give me something. The moon. What's this moon? What's the moon spirit? Daggone. The moon is just like somebody going down a whole new different direction. Y'all went down a whole nother motherfucking path. A whole nother path. Whole nother path. And y'all ain't losing not damn motherfucking sleep. All these damn third parties. This is what I'm saying. This is family. These are friends. Somebody is understanding that they shouldn't never listen to these damn people. Now they ain't grief because they don't have you in their fucking life. They are scared. You guys over here being victorious. They watching you be successful. That's what they're watching, and somebody's in deep regret. All these motherfucking third parties, they lied on you. They spying on you because you a fucking boss. You a fucking leader, bruh. King of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. You guys about to boss the fuck up. You guys are already leaders taking action. Feminine or masculine. You guys are already motherfucking leaders. Y'all taking motherfucking action. Y'all ain't stunting these motherfucking people, bruh. Y'all ain't saying these all these damn liars and shit. I'm saying y'all was already, you know what I'm saying? Y'all already knew who the fuck y'all was. You know what I'm saying? Y'all, come on, man. Somebody realized they chose another path. I do see somebody going down a whole nother path now, guys. I do see that. Somebody also understand they went down the wrong motherfucking path when they fucking lied on you. All it was is they were jealous and fucking envious. See, this is the thing. Motherfucker saying you was doing A, B, C, and D. You get what I'm saying? Like, this person ain't this, this person ain't that. They touched that. They said you was not um of the light, number one. They said you ain't had no motherfucking gifts. That your life won't go on no motherfucking where. You know what I'm saying? They try to project all of that shit onto you. Now they grieving. Now they in motherfucking fear because they don't have you in their fucking life no more. But whoever this motherfucking third party was, they shouldn't have motherfucking lied. They shouldn't have lied. And this can go for my masculines or my feminines. Y'all know, take your high motherfucking resonate. These motherfuckers are stuck. But shit, this is looking at things from a whole different perspective now. A whole different perspective. And this motherfucker is in grief now. It's been a whole lot of enlightenment right there. Mm-mm. Y'all went on a whole nother path. When I tell y'all y'all sleeping fucking good, y'all are sleeping good. It's that gone moon is I do see somebody that view you as their whole fucking world. Somebody is choosing you. They're looking out towards you guys. I do see that as well. Oh, well, but it's, they finding out that these... If anybody lie on you to anybody, people are understanding and they are seeing what's real and what's fake. Who lied and who didn't. And who lied? These fake ass friends. These fake ass family members. <laughs> There's also a masculine energy that um he's seeing that whoever he was dealing with 
They was fucking lying. This person was just jealous. Ultimate betrayal. Give me something on this spirit. This five. We got two tens. We got completion right here. As well. We got completion. Y'all over here being so successful. So victorious. Getting public recognition, man. Yeah, but this ain't none of y'all. This is somebody, a star that's already in the spotlight. Mm-hmm. It's fine on y'all motherfucking success. It's fine on somebody's success. I'm not gonna say y'all. Because y'all could be spying on somebody else's fucking success. You know what I'm saying? Y'all take it how it resonates. You feel me? I'm trying to get out of that. Y'all, you know what I'm saying? But I'm just talking to y'all. So that's why I always say that. Anything else my collective need to know, Spirit? Anything else my collective need to know? Oh, there's a Queen of Swords. Queen of Swords. Yeah. That's cutting some shit. Be fuck off. I think somebody cutting some third parties off. Friends and family. Yeah, somebody's cutting some somebody's cutting somebody off. We got a queen of swords, maybe guys that may want to come offer their motherfucking apology. Or this could be just you guys. Damn shit. Y'all like fuck this. I done cut people off and they gonna come. Somebody want um a new chance of love with you guys. Do see a message coming in. Somebody did something. Without thinking, somebody made an unwise choice. There's a king of wands. There is, there's a king of wands having a tower moment. Ooh. I've been getting this king of wands for a minute. I've been getting this king of wands for a fucking minute, y'all. No, no, we got the higher front, the emperor, apology, lovers. But, somebody is teaching somebody a valuable lesson as well. Yeah, somebody may want to apologize to you guys. Toxic. Oh, no, 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 no. Toxic, toxic, toxic. Whoa, y'all not open to it. Y'all ain't gonna be open to this. This could be somebody just obsessing over you guys. Though. Somebody really wants to make you guys an offer. This person is obsessed with you guys. Yeah, they are obsessed. I don't yeah, I don't see you guys being open. Uh uh, there's an emperor guys that um mm, Yeah, this person isn't doing so good, guys. This person is this person has been through a lot. Whoever that's been blocking you guys up, somebody may want to um, bring you guys an offer. You know, somebody may want to make you guys an offer. There's definitely some a queen of swords that wants to apologize to you guys as well. Somebody also cut off a lot of people. Yep, there's some people cutting off. There's some. There's an energy of somebody that's cutting off some people that's Coming to bring some type of apology or something, guys. Because somebody wants this Ace of Cups with you guys. They're definitely thinking about um, communicating, taking action. But it's like I said, this was somebody who did something without thinking. And this person is definitely having karma. This person is, is going through a major, a major tower moment. And it doesn't have to be bad, guys. It doesn't. This person just had a powerful realization that um, you guys are who you say you are. You guys are the fucking horrifying. You guys are connected to spirit. 
This person is finding this shit out. Powerful realization. Now they in deep fucking grief and fucking fear because they done lost you. You know what I'm saying? They lost you. That's just what it is. So just know that, guys. It's any just somebody that is they grieving. Cause you guys done walk the fuck on. That's just what it is. They damn sure spying. You guys sleeping motherfucking good. They ain't. They stressed the fuck out. They are stressed and they are grieving. And they're watching you guys just have success. Continue to have fucking success. Oh, well. They should have kept you on um, when they had you. That's just what it is. What's this? Yeah. This can be communication. This can be somebody watching you guys from a distance as well. Somebody's looking back to, to you. We got healing. Transformation past. Yeah, somebody's going through a death and rebirth. Somebody's definitely holding on to you guys. Somebody is, they're watching you be successful. They have chosen you, this person, um, they are definitely healing. This person has never let you go. A lot of you guys are probably, um, I encourage to pull back your energy and continue to work on what it is that you're working on. Like, for real, for real. Somebody is definitely... I do see somebody holding on to you guys, though. Somebody's going through a major transformation. A death and rebirth. Your past person, he probably was in this non-committal energy. Right here. Yeah. He's been blocked. He's been blocked. This person was money hungry. This person was very money hungry. This person... This person is going through a lot right now, too. This person is also trying to defend you guys as well. Justice is being served. But it's them high priestess. Who's having victory. Who's getting public recognition and rewards. Yep. This person with this mighty wands. This person is passionate about the connection now. In the past, you know, they was playing and shit like that. Mm -mm. This person is... For some of you guys, this person is blocked from you guys. Cause they money hungry as hell. And for some of you guys, this person is starting to defend this connection. They went through a death and rebirth. Just as this being served, they want to balance things out. They know you are the high priestess and the hermit. They see you doing your fucking thing. They know you in sort of a swell. And you doing your fucking thing. Providing that motherfucking service. A lot of you guys are intuitive. You guys are damn getting motherfucking attention. You guys are having success. Victory and rewards. You guys are the fucking gift. This person is trying to. I'm telling you. This person never let you go. They want to put in the work now. I'm telling you. They want to put in the work. For some of you guys, like I said, some. This is what I said. Some. There's an energy that is daggone looking out to you. They're getting guidance from you. They are watching you. This person is daggone healing. This person is also holding on to you. They're putting work into themselves, going through a major transformation. A major transformation. Well, who was it? This past person that was in this play, this non-committal energy. This person's going through a major awakening, guys. And they are now defending you guys because they know that you was a gift from the divine. They know you are the hierophant as well as the fucking high priestess. And they want to balance the fucking scales. Either way it go, they're getting karma. The scales going to be balanced regardless. And you guys are just being your intuitive self. Being successful. I love it. Now this person realized that some of you guys are gone. Some of you guys are holding back from this daggone energy. Some of you guys are not going to take this person back. So they are scared. They don't know what to expect, guys. They don't know what to expect. They, I know they're in grief that they was believing all these fake-ass friends and family members and third parties. 
Oh, well. Now they're seeing you got that cautious lineage of God on you. This person know you are very powerful. You are the fucking hierophant. You are, you have direct connection to the divine. You guys are fucking intuitive. You guys are a fucking high priestess. You, some, you got high priest and high priest. You guys know that. Masculines, you can embody the same energy. Male or female, whomever. Take it how it resonates. Your past person that was in that playboy energy that was listening to every motherfucking body else around them except for you that didn't believe in you, you know what I'm saying? They see you now. Now they want to fight for the connection. That's, that's what I see, guys. That's just what it is. Let's get some romance angels cards. I'm going to let you guys go. So, just know this person. This person see you. Yeah, this person, they know you are their true love. Attraction. And I want to hear, I hear y'all saying, oh, and I don't want that person. Y'all don't even know who the fuck it is. The past could be any motherfucking body. We are in Mercury retrograde, so y'all keep that in mind. That's why I said it can be anybody from your damn past. Shit, could it be, it could be damn, um, somebody from way, way, way fucking back. Y'all don't know who this person is. You know what I'm saying? I don't feel like none of y'all know this energy. I just don't. I mean, y'all do, but this is, put it this way, this is somebody from a past life. Shall I say, let me just say that. Separation. There's a separation. Somebody may be going through a separation, guys. You guys may be going through a separation with somebody, with somebody, and it don't matter who it is. Make the effort. Somebody is starting to make the effort now. Somebody is needing to make the effort. Somebody is wanting to make the effort. And y'all over there going to chill them. Finances and career. Somebody is working on their finances and their career, guys. And separation. For some of you guys, y'all got somebody that y'all separated from. This person is making the effort. They are working on their finances and their career, guys. Yep. So this damn person is definitely in grief. Pay attention to the red flags. You guys remember to pay attention to the red flags. Now this person is understanding now. Now that they've had this awakening. Because somebody's going through a major transformation. Somebody is going through a major transformation. Yeah. Love yourself first. See? This person's going through a transformation. For real, for real. My kids be so damn loud when I be doing the damn videos. Like, not be telling them, but, you know, it is what the fuck it is. Shit, it's they damn house too. What the fuck? Not damn show. Ain't gonna take nothing out. Everything happens for a fucking reason. I have a big family. Shit. <laughs> I have a big old family. Okay, guys. I think that might be it. Yeah, somebody's definitely... Somebody's going through a transformation, though. For some of you guys, while you and your person has been separated, your person has been focusing on their career and their finances. So now they want to make the effort, guys. And this person is paying attention to the red flags now. Definitely. Learning how to love themselves first. Because if they don't love themselves first, how the fuck they gonna love you? You see what I'm saying? For real, for real. Somebody's going through a harsh motherfucking... Somebody went through a harsh-ass lesson. I mean, I see this person. This person is wounded like a, wounded like a motherfucker. And that's for some of you guys. That's not for everybody. There's a reconciliation on the horizon coming. And you were asked to keep an open mind about the situation. So, while somebody, um, somebody may be actually getting a separation, separation. For some of you guys, there may be somebody. If y'all know y'all person was motherfucking married, this person is getting a fucking separation. This person is making an effort towards you. They're getting their finances and things um, and check. 
They're starting to pay attention to the red flags. They're starting to love themselves. And there's going to be a reconciliation, guys. Okay, that's for some of you guys. For those of you, if your person wasn't married, you guys may be going through a separation at this time. And this person's understanding that they got to make an effort. So this person, that's what they're doing. They're getting their finances and things together. Now they are definitely paying attention to the red flags because they found out how people in their past have lied. People on their past have lied on you. Hell, they probably fucking lied on you damn too. You get what I'm saying? But now they see you. And this person watches you. Especially, especially if you got a platform. This person watches you. He see you getting all this motherfucking attention. Public attention. Victory and rewards. You guys have success. This person see that. All these people that lied on you, this person see. And now they're in grief and fear because they believe these motherfucking people. The third parties, them fake ass friends, them family members, and whoever the fuck else, bro. You know what I'm saying? Late at night, that's when they think about you. Late at night is when they think about you guys. Now this person ain't getting no damn sleep. This person is not getting no sleep at all, guys. They are worried. They are in fear. It's like, damn, I done lost my person. I told you that motherfucker had a powerful realization that you are the fucking high front. As well as the motherfucking high priestess. Because your Akasha lineage is God. That's beautiful. They found that shit out. I mean, they had to find out the hard way. But it is what the fuck it is. You know what I'm saying? They motherfuckers know who the fuck you are now. So, it's whatever. I mean, y'all ain't. True love came up again. True love. True fucking love. So, y'all take that how I resonate, man. Y'all do what y'all do with it. You know what I'm saying? That's not everybody's message either. That's why I said for some. Some of you guys are going to be open. Some of you guys are not. You know? I mean, shit. I can't tell y'all what to do. Y'all got to go at the end and see how y'all fucking feel about the situation. You know? But this person is in secret. This person is going down another path. They have chosen you. They, they chosen you. Whether you guys know it or not. When I asked what the moon was, I thought it was going to bring out some secrets. The moon was, this person is choosing their fucking path. But, I mean, it, it is what it is. This person is going through a transformation. And they're in so much grief because they believe everybody over you. You know what I'm saying? They believe everybody over you and now they are scared because they don't have you. And for some of you guys, it's family, friends as well, guys, that is in grief and in fear now that you're no longer in their lives. For some of you, there is an actual person. For some of you, these are friends and family members. Let me just put it out there like that. So, yeah. So, y'all know y'all story. Y'all know where y'all at. You know what I'm saying? I don't know. I don't know personally. You know? I don't, I don't know y'all situation, bro. So, that wasn't a bad, that wasn't a bad reading at all. This person is definitely stepping up. For some of you that has a masculine that's going through a transformation. Because this that is not for everybody. I, I assure you it's not for everybody. Um, like I said, some of you is family and friends. Some of you is just a lover. Some of you is all. A lover and family and friends. Well, fake ass friends, shit like that. People y'all let go of. I mean, it is what the fuck it is. All these people that doubted you, bruh. It's whatever. But for those of you who know that you know that you know that you know, you know what I'm saying? Damn, I put that shit all the way over there. Y'all trust your intuition and use your discernment. You'll know if this message is for you and if it's not for you. Please don't leave nothing in my comment section saying this person did A, B, C, and D. At the end of the day, that's not my business. I really don't care. You know what I'm saying? And I, I mean, I mean it like that. You know what I'm saying? Y'all business is y'all business. You feel me? 
I don't care to know everybody's story, what they going through. You know your truth. That's all that fucking matter. Ain't nobody else got to know, you know what I'm saying, what's going on in your damn life. You feel me? That sounds kind of harsh, didn't it? Y'all know how the fuck I mean it. I mean it in a way where I don't need my dad going um comment section like, no, I'm not going to take him back. He did A, B, C, and D. No, I'm not going to take him back. You know what I'm saying? I don't, you know what I'm saying? It is what it is, guys. That's why I said this message may not be for you. This may be for the ones that is waiting and wanting to know what the hell they damn masculine been doing. If you don't give a fuck about your masculine, this is not for you. I mean, it's as simple as that. That's why I said I don't want to, I don't want to hear or see them damn comments saying I don't want my masculine back because he did A, B, C, and D. No, this message is not for you. These are for the ones who want their fucking masculine and trying to figure out what their masculine has been up to. What happened? That's this type of reading. Okay? Hmm. Now, I know I love each and every last one of y'all. I'm going to tell y'all the damn truth. But... Like I said, this message is not for you if you are not entertaining your fucking masculine. That's just period. That's why I said for some of you guys, it's these family and motherfucking friends. That's just what it is. But this was overall a beautiful message. Those of you who are going to, um, you know, who's been thinking about a soulmate, um, your twin... Or just hell, just your motherfucking boyfriend shit. This ain't no, this ain't no, you know what I'm saying? This ain't one of them readings where it's just about a twin flame. No, this is for any fucking body, bro. You don't have to be a twin. This message is not a, you know what I'm saying? Ain't no emperors come out, ain't no emperor come out. This is what it is. So this is for anybody, you know what I'm saying? You do not have to be a twin. For those of you, you know what I'm saying, who it resonates with, that's what's going on with your masculine. That's what he's been doing. Those of you who know your masculine was fucking married, now you know. For those of you, your person won't motherfucking married and y'all just fucking separated. Hell, motherfucker just working on himself. You know what I'm saying? He had to learn some fucking lessons. It, it is what it is. So, masculine or feminine. Masculine or fucking feminine. It does not matter. You know what I'm saying? That's what your person will do. Whoever wants to know. Okay, guys? Alright, let me get up out of here. 47.55.